All right, everyone, there's a bit of a shakeup right now in politics, and Jim Justice has uh, decided to throw his hat in the ring for the Republican nomination process for the Senate seat in West Virginia, currently occupied by Joe Manchin. Now, there's good news and there's bad news, and the political shakeup could be considerable or it could be inconsiderable. The backstory is this. The Republicans right now are self-sabotaging. Jim Justice is a corporate Republican, so he's been endorsed by McConnell, he's been endorsed by Graham. Meanwhile, his main opponent, Mooney, uh, who's a representative there, has been endorsed by Rand Paul and, and basically, you know, the Freedom Caucus people. Ted Cruz has endorsed him, whatever, <laughs> etc. Uh, so you have, basically, Mooney, a MAGA candidate, running against a reasonably unpopular incumbent in a, a Senate race that could very easily tilt towards the Republicans. They could knock Manchin out. This is why I think Jim Justice was told to run. This is in the lead up to 24. Let me warn the MAGA people something. If Jim Justice is nominated, the, 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 the MAGA Republicans have lost that option, that, that shot. You should be doing everything possible to support Mooney right now in the primaries there um, because he can win as well. Now, if Mooney does manage to win uh, the primary process, you may look forward to a bit of shenanigans. The party will refuse to support him because they clearly, uh, with McConnell's endorsement, that is effectively an attempt to coronate Jim Justice for the position to replace Manchin. Jim Justice will be similar to Joe Manchin, only with an R after his name. You'd have another Cornine in the Senate, basically, another Mitt Romney. So my hope is that Mooney pulls it off. But Jim Justice is massively wealthy and a relatively popular sitting governor, ironically echoing Joe Manchin himself, who had been a popular sitting governor, and that was the only way that a Republican state got him into the Senate. Now, Joe Manchin suffers from a couple of problems, and this is why the non-MAGA wing of the Republican Party begged Jim Justice to run for this position. They would rather trade a gubernatorial slot for a Senate seat, because they're still trying to hold out against MAGA right now. Again, for 24, you can expect more of what you saw in 22, which is why the McConnells and the Grams of the party must be neutered immediately. You follow Scott Pressler. Uh, fucking take his advice with regards to knocking on doors and ballot harvesting and all these things. There's no better person to go to to do that uh, if you give a damn about the United States. doesn't matter if the Republicans do a clean sweep if you don't have populists in the legislature. Uh, and what we saw in the 2022 election was that the party was more than willing to sabotage a dozen of its own candidates screwing its own uh, legislative potential in the partisan sense in order to maintain liberals in some of those positions simply to keep MAGA from growing further. If they hadn't done that there'd be another dozen people in the house and probably a couple of senators all of which would be beholden to Trump and that's what people like McConnell seek to avoid. It's not for strategic purposes, though. They bill it as well. We're going to try to block them because they can't win. They don't work well with others. No, no, no. It's because you're a bunch of corrupt neocons. Jim, Joe Manchin, though, has two problems. And this is why this is a considerable bellwether shift for 24. Again, not necessarily in all ways a positive one. Even though Justice is easily electable, he probably would beat Manchin and have an easier job of doing so than Mooney. That's admitted. Uh, it's not because Mooney or populism is weak. It's because Jim Justice is fucking loaded. He's got hundreds of millions of dollars and he's a sitting governor. Joe Manchin backstabbed his own constituents. What people need to understand is that the only reason he's even in the Senate was because of his gubernatorial capabilities prior. West Virginia, if anything, is becoming more of a red state. He's already hazarded by that. But then he voted for two things in favor of gun control and in favor of the reckless spending of the Biden administration. And he did the latter in the most underhanded of ways. He held literal seat after holding out publicly for months and saying, well, I'm not really on board with a lot of the shit that's in this bill. The whole Green New Deal bullshit just uh, rubs me the wrong way. It'll attack the coal miners that literally elected me, for example. And so the people of West Virginia held out for Manchin. He had relatively high support for a member of the legislature. He was a shoe-in for re-election before all of that happened. Then he held secret talks with Biden for months, and all of a sudden came out and said, yeah, I'm going to vote for the bill. Yeah, when it comes up for a vote, that's perfectly fine. I parsed out a small portion of that reckless spending. And the people of West Virginia were not very happy, because the thing is, Joe Manchin, a lot of his voters are Republicans. <laughs> He's a Democrat who got voted for by Republicans because he seemed against uh, expanding anti-gunnery. 
uh, against the reckless spending. He, he pays great lip service to this even now. He even criticizes Biden still, so he's got no allies. The Democrats want to get rid of him, and probably the Democrats have given the blessing to uh, make sure that Jim Justice wins because they know he's a neocon. The Republicans, a lot of them, don't like him for partisan reasons, uh, and then his own constituents have, have largely abandoned him because of the uh, reckless spending. Thank you, Joe Manchin. You, you helped give us uh, some of that inflation we're currently suffering under. You also helped throw the Second Amendment under the uh, bus. Otherwise, if you hadn't done that, all you had to do was stand on principle. It wouldn't matter if the goddamn entire Democratic Party abandoned him. He could switch parties and win in West Virginia. Didn't think of that one now, did he? He was too busy playing tiebreaker. He, he likes that power. He's like a de facto sub-president, actually, sometimes. Cinema too. She plays the same fence riding, straddling, nonpartisan, but actually partisan game. So now Joe Manchin may end up facing justice. Lol, pardon the pun. Uh, I would rather him face Mooney, though. Um, e again, even though the populist thing doesn't carry maybe as much weight in some states as neoconservatism does, mainly because of party money, e again, understand that West Virginia is two-thirds partisan Republicans. Mooney or any other person who wins the nomination, as long as Manchin is still hemorrhaging support, will win against him. Because the neocons know this, they begged fucking Jim Justice to get into this race. They begged him. They probably paid him to get into the race. Yeah, we know that you're worth like 600 million bucks and used to be a literal billionaire because you inherited a coal mining empire. Uh, but we'll sweeten the deal. You know, that, don't worry about them regulations and stuff. We'll have a chat with the Democrats. You get in. Block the fucking MAGA morons. This is this is Mitch McConnell's premise. You block the MAGA dude. You get in. We ensure that you win. So you know now you've got a Senate seat. That's better than being a governor now, isn't it? So leave the gubernatorial slot behind. Pull a reverse mansion, ironically, and we'll make sure that your coal mining empire is not regulated. So another corporatist, another good, another good corporate neocon Republican in the Senate. That's exactly what we need to replace the dying vestige that is any non-consensus within the Democratic Party. Jim uh, Justice, at the end of the day. Uh, would, would, uh, other than uh, for judicial appointments and things like that, would be meaningless change. There's the thing, it's a huge change within the race itself, because it's obviously shenanigans uh, by the McConnellites of the party, but if he's elected, nothing changes. He'll be exactly like Joe Manchin. This is the uniparty uh, in principle and in action. So stay tuned to this race. Um, we're going we're gonna to try to do everything that we can to try to get Mooney in there instead. Uh, but Jim Justice does have the advantage of having the backing of the powers that be that control the, uh, the valves that actually are, uh, are cranked during elections. That's about all. Peace out.